Representing Premier MMI, it is Tender Sullivan! K1 bow with shin guards, but we're still flying three two minute rounds now. In the well weight division, 66.6 they weighed in. Yeah, I'm expecting a fast start here, Danny. Yeah. Three two minute rounds, amateur K1 fight. Eric Vuzniks from the fight zone. Heavy, heavy shot to the body there from Sullivan. Pulls a low shot now. Looks strong in his frame, Sullivan. Now hammers to the body. Yeah, really good shots, really good exchanges, but what I'm noticing with these guys at the moment, the back and forward in straight lines. The importance in K1 is your footwork, your angles, cutting the ring off as well. Oh, really well timed, spinning back was some fancy, fancy footwork there, my friend. And effective, look at the body shots. Throwing his life away with those hands, isn't he? Yeah, he needs to select those shots properly and make sure he doesn't burn out, Danny. Yeah, he's not really looking where he's shooting, is he? No, he wasn't picking the shots. He was hitting a lot of them on the guard. Good spinning back kick, though. Fantastic spinning back kick from Sullivan. But, you know, Wojnik's wore it well. He's coming back on strong. He's, he's used it again. He's won a low kick in response, though. Now he goes high. Almost walked by his corner. It was going to go there. Yeah, this is better now, the, the footwork's better, lovely combination. Brilliant. Over and right, left up the body, Trouble, down to the legs trebled, to finish. the whole diagonal length of the ring to fire that as well. Yeah, the really, really good combination Two that by, Rudy, uh, by Sullivan. 
Now he starts to pin his opponent back. Good opening round. Really Real good K1 opening style round. kickboxing action as well. It's an animated Jose Varela in that corner, I think. Tells you a story of where that first round went because knows he's got to do a little bit more, needs to be a bit more active. Letting, yeah. letting this Taylor Sullivan strong, you don't want to let him fire first. Yeah, it was a really good opening round. I thought Taylor Sullivan nipped it, in my opinion. I thought it was a really good start by Taylor's combination work was better. And this, with the more effective, noticeable shot in particular, that spin and back kick was really well placed. Sullivan looks really strong at welterweight, you know that. He looks like a big welterweight. Look, his frame. Both fighters look strong in this division. They don't look small for welterweights, but no, they're not Sullivan small does look... No, they're not. They are big welterweights. They've cut weight and blown up, definitely. Oh, he's in trouble there, turning away. Didn't look yeah, comfortable. Yeah, he's got to be careful he doesn't turn away there, Danny. This is good response from Borzniks. Great, pushed his shoulder to get rid of him there. That was a really cool defence. Yeah, Wojnik started this round really fast. Pushing the pace on the front foot. Good right hand to the body is well placed as well. Looks good this round. This has been really good. Great response. Come forward. It's just, just that extra work and determination has stymied Sullivan's style. Just cramps his style a lot, to be honest. In terms of K1, he's a much more typical style of K1 fight from the Premier League, Sullivan. There is. Back fist, not allowed. To get not at amateur that. level, Danny. No, you can't do the spin and back fist at amateur level, K1. I like the rule, because they're very untidy landing it often, you know. Oh, good. He's got him where he wants him. This is a great round for Eric Vosniks, a really good round for Vosniks. Yeah, he's pushed the pace this round, he's doing a really good job of putting Sullivan on the back foot. This is going to set up round three, just so everyone in this stadium wants to see it. Exactly that. If he stays like this, Danny, going into round three, it's all going to be on the last round. Good, a good double, double jab, jab low up, kick yeah. there by Sullivan. Sullivan sets up well. He's actually really cool on his defence as well. He trips up and he moves him, but this is all a little bit too late for me. I think Borschnitz has had a really, really explosive round two here. Just starting to tire down. He'll go back to his corner weary and very glad of the break and the water and the advice. But let me tell you something now. This is set up for a very, very big round three. Yeah, this is going to be a massive round three. You can see the difference in the corners, the calmness, the cool, the collective corner of Premier Kickboxing there. They've got the more stylistically K1 fight, but Varela's gone the mental yeah, in the other yeah, corner. He's, he's never been cool since the day he was born. He's a cool dude, let's have it straight. But, but cool in personality, no. He's a very animated character, and his fighter's going to feed off that. He needs, to, he needs to come out in this last round with all of this energy that he's got here. Listen, whoever puts in a shift now takes away the fight, Alex. Exactly that, in my opinion. It's all going to come down to the last round as we as we finish our first K1 bout of the evening here on Raw Combat League. I'm going to be controversial here and say that I don't care what the judges are saying, I've got this around each. Good low kicks there on the back foot. Strong, strong kicks. He looks tired to me uh, after that round. Vojnicks. Yeah, Sullivan started well, doubling the low kicks up, doubling the right hands up. More power. Yeah, the power's gone from Vojnicks temporarily. I'd like to see... Wow, him. lovely footwork there by Sullivan. He ducked out and turned off. That was a brilliant piece of work there by Taylor Sullivan. He's getting told about the back fist. I'll tell you what, one more for the referee. And I, I, if he does that again, I think he's going to lose the fight on that. The referee is not standing for that back fist. Oh, goes underneath. 
well balanced though. It's Vojnik and he tries to land the knee. Do you know why it's sloppy now? The accuracy has gone from these two. They just need to plant their feet and throw their shots. Yeah, well checked there, ball by Sullivan. I think one more flurry. He's looking for that left. Oh, that was a really good spin and back kick to the body again. He likes that shot. That's He's a signature it a shot. I'll tell you what, that little cameo there is going to be the difference, I'd say. It's going to take something big from Virginia's now. Yeah, I don't think he's done enough in this last round to take this. It's been a brilliant round by Taylor Sullivan this last round. He left it all in round two, Alex. Accurate punches again. Here he is. Here he is. Taylor Sullivan coming into his own at the end of this fight. Just starting to plant his feet, let his shots go confidently. This wow, is going to be too much. Yeah. Just about to get stopped by the referee. That With was a fantastic go, yeah. finish, Danny, to the fight by Taylor Sullivan. He, le he left it in there. He found he, something, didn't he? He found another gear, which, in my opinion, took him that fight. I think he won round one comfortably. I think round two was a win for Vosniks. Round three, that energy, that extra strength comes from Taylor Sullivan. Of course, it goes down to the judges' scorecards here at Raw Combat League. If you're joining us at home, you will be getting the result live with us. Oh, my God.